Hey guys, welcome to another video for the POCO F3, the Redmi K40 and the Mi 11X. Today we are talking about a comprehensive review of this MIUI 12.5.5 Enhanced Edition which is released for pilot testers only. Now remember this device has had three updates so far and they are so called Enhanced Edition 12.5.3, 12.5.4 and 12.5.5. A lot of things to discuss over here. You know, I used it for two to three days while I was traveling in the last weekend and this is the time to review it. But before we get into the review, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find the link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right. So first things first, what are we talking about? Let's go to settings. Let's go to about and let's go to MIUI version 12.5.5 stable, it says. And because this is released for pilot testers only, you won't be able to see the change log. So let's really go to gallery because I do have a screenshot saved over here. All right. Now, remember this particular change log that you see over here will be for people who have received it for the first time. If you've received it after 12.5.4, the change log will be smaller. And if you have received it after 12.5.3, the change log will be different. But let's see what do they have to say over here. They're just bragging about 12.5 enhanced. So ignore that. Now lock screen, new fingerprint options. Memory usage issues when changing anime when charging animation was displayed using face unlock and fingerprint unlock simultaneously led to crashes in some cases. Really weird. Lock screen notifications disappeared after an ended call. Wow. Lock screen items weren't displayed when super wallpapers and themes were combined. Yeah. Status bar and notifications shade. So uh, forget the optimization. Let's talk about the fixes. Notifications weren't displayed correctly when app lock was used. Very stupid. Cleaner animations weren't displayed correctly. Notification shade couldn't be opened in some cases. Player controls weren't displayed in the notification shade. I have experienced this. Notification weren't always displayed correctly when raise to wake was used. Buttons were always displayed correctly when notifications when it was in dark mode. Now, let me tell you this. I've been using this as my personal phone with this particular update for the last two to three days. I've had four different instances. Now, remember, this is not rooted. This is completely stock enhanced edition pilot tester build. I've had four instances wherein the phone literally froze. I had to do a hard reset by long pressing the power button and I did miss a few calls. So I understand this is for pilot testers, but you are calling it the enhanced edition. So something as basic as attending a call should not be messed up. That is what I really, really think. Now, apart from this, other users have reported that the enhanced edition is full of bugs like random reboots, like whenever using automatic brightness, you get random reboots. I read a few articles about that as well. Low sound in YouTube. Sometimes there is heating and lagging while playing games and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty wild ride for this enhanced edition, so-called enhanced edition, which is going to improve your experience on MIUI 12.5, right? now. Let's go ahead and talk about the changes and the pros and cons and the benchmarks and my experience on this particular enhanced edition. So first things first, what I noticed over here is if you go to system app updater, you have a new UI. At the same time, you have a lot of updates for a lot of system applications. So that is something really, really neat. That means they are, you know, trying to go ahead and make changes. And because this 12.5.5 version has been in testing for a long time, you still do get the August security patch. And I'm hoping when it is released to the public, at least they will give the September security patch. Moving on, if you actually go to the notepad or the notes application, which I do use a lot, right? Just have a look over here. Now I have changed the font, but it usually has a brighter, more bold font. It's the change that they have made in this particular version of update. Now, apart from this, as you see over here, out of six gigabytes, 3.5 gigabytes is available. So that is something neat. RAM management is pretty good. And if you actually go to additional settings, you will see the memory extension feature. Now I did try to look where exactly is this memory extension coming from? Like 
are they using the internal storage which i think is my belief they are using internal storage as extra ram but i was not able to locate any hard evidence about that in this 12.5.5 enhanced edition update the touch experience has been pretty decent so that is a welcome addition you do have the similar video toolbox you do have the similar game turbo so no changes there and even if you take a screenshot you don't really have the option of adding device frame something that we've seen in china builds for a very very long time now let's go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers real quick so first things first let's go ahead and have a look at the cpu throttle test now remember all the benchmarks were run in a controlled environment for the battery being at 31 or 32 degrees and game turbo added right now, as you can see over here performance 189 to 45 gips and cpu throttle to 94 percent now most of the people here will say that this is a brilliant score brilliant experience the cpu did not throttle now remember we are losing out on 50 to 60 thousand points worth of gips so i don't consider this to be a good experience and if we actually go to geekbench you will see why this might be happening here so it's not only cpu throttle test because in the previous updates there were a lot of heating issues now see over here 972 3109 979 3083 and look at this 643 2670 now again that's my problem in an effort to make the system smoother you are reducing performance in, in an effort to increase battery life you are reducing performance in an effort to reduce the heating you are in, you know reducing performance the score over here 670 to 520 i remember getting 680000 in and to 2 in the 12.5.3 enhanced tradition but then the device was heating up quite a bit so you know they are probably making maybe trying to make a balance out of it that is the reason you see low benchmark scores but these are significantly lower scores remember and uh, i don't really really appreciate that you should be able to balance things out that's what a smartphone os is supposed to do now wildwine l1 works absolutely fine no issues there but there are still a few hiccups here and there for example if you actually go to special features and light mode there you go you see this black flash just have a look at it so there is this is still a eyesore because it it really looks like a custom rom which has just had an alpha release so i know light mode is something not many people use but a bug is a bug even the volume slider sometimes it is transparent sometimes it follows the screen and you do have pretty decent haptic feedback over here so that is good but the volume sliders color consistency is not that great so they need to fix that as well what i will comment xiaomi about though is that this app switching is pretty rock solid pretty smooth it works really really great so that is something i like so good job there xiaomi and also they have increased the blur in the notification drawer over here and the game turbo as well so i don't know why they've done that but they've increased the blur quite a bit now the last important aspect over here battery and performance the battery life has been decent of course because they have reduced performance the charging is almost the same no major changes in the charging speed camera consistency and everything else works great now remember 12.5 enhanced edition is supposed to be a transition update to make the system more smoother and reduce the heat improve the battery life and stuff like that all in all in my opinion it has been a very very rocky start for the enhanced edition you know release and i don't really know how it will go for other devices let me know in the comment section what do you think about this review until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye